quite frankly, Paul, I'm going to have to try to regain my composure after the uh, seriousness of what we just had happen today on Music City Wrestling. They took the ladder out of the ring before they could get Wolfie D out of the ring. The ladder was busted. Wolfie D holding his neck and not really able to move his head fully. He did not have full dynamic range of the movement of his neck. And now the man that perpetrated this crime, if you would, in MCW, Flash Flanagan in the ring right now against Andy Anderson from Canada. Yeah, well, we have the debuting Andy Anderson from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, coming into Music City Wrestling this week. And my God, what's next, Michael? What's next, Michael? What's next, Michael? We have Stephen Dunn debuting this week. Rex King comes out, a big confrontation there. Then we have Wolfie D out for an interview. Flash comes out and uh, takes a... a a ladder from the back of the building, for God's sake. It goes in there and nearly maims the man, I guess, from what you're telling me. You were up close, you saw it better than I. What did it look like in there? I, it was mayhem. And I mean, to have a man come flying at you, I, I mean, I saw him coming, and not that I wanted to leave Wolfie D unguarded, but I sure the heck didn't want to get slapped by that ladder, and he was just coming at him full force with that ladder. And then he pulled the ladder into the ring, put pushed Wolfie D in the ring, and then took the ladder and scissored Wolfie D's neck in between the rungs of the ladder. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, you see Flash in there, this Andy Anderson's getting the best of him right now, but you know Flash is an accomplished wrestler inside the ring, but look at the stuff he's been pulling around here, like these stunts that he's got going on. He's taking guys up to the balcony of the arena here, throwing them off with a chain, choking them, hanging a man, and he's going to the back of the building finding a ladder. You'd think he was a custodian here in a past life or something. The man's out of control, and I love it. Stephen Dunn earlier in an interview accused Rex King of being psychopathic, and I got news for you, it may be contagious in, dub, in uh, Music City Wrestling because Flash Flanagan, I think, is a little psychopathic himself. Well, we were talking about Dunn and his, uh, his uh, tag team prowess, his experience in the tag team ranks, and there comes out Rex King, his former partner that he's probably gone farther with anybody else, and comes out and attacks him. Well, that was quite a confrontation, but I must say I was not as surprised at that. They've had their differences of opinion before, but this situation between Flash Flanagan and Wolfie D has escalated to a point where it's almost it, it's almost criminal what's happening in and out of the ring between these two. Exactly right, Michael, absolutely. And what you see right here is Flash's temper is getting the best of him. He's so psyched up. He is so intense over this Wolfie D situation that he's allowing this Andy Anderson to get the best of him in the early going in this match. And that would make him prime for an upset, and boy, would that add some stars into the column of Andy Anderson if indeed he can pull that off today on MCW. And Flash Flanagan just trying to slow down the pace of the match try to regain some composure and look at this he's offering to shake the hand of the young Canadian right now well I'll tell you what Michael you know my calendar is on the 27th of November circled for several months because it's the Tennessee homecoming Thanksgiving night the super card here at the fairgrounds and it looks like everybody else is geared up almost to the point that the intensity around here is peaking just days before that big event coming up and goodness knows what lies forth in that event Thanksgiving night right here at the fairgrounds arena in Nashville Tennessee Right now, Flash Flanagan doing exactly what he has planned to do, slowing down the pace of the match and making Andy Anderson come to him to fight his fight. Referee Gene Johnson stepping in between them to try to break him up. I'll give the referee credit. Gene Johnson gets very active in that ring sometimes and will take matters into his own hands to maintain control in a match. And right there, you saw him do just that. Here's Anderson taken to the ropes and caught with the clothesline by Flash Flanagan coming off. Absolutely, it looked like Gene Johnson got in between them there and snuck a little thumb to the eye of Anderson there and it's allowed uh, Flash to take over. Is that what, I think that's what happened, wouldn't you concur? Neck breaker right there by Flash Flanagan. I do not concur with the uh, thumb in the eye theory. I would have to see a replay on that. And there you see Flash Flanagan going right at the cameraman, kicking at the neck. He has something about necks of people. Somebody, he must have saw a TV show or something where it talked about the vertebrae on the neck because he has attacked now two men right in that volatile, ver a very, very volatile position. Maybe he saw that late night commercial for that Oriental La Pillow, whatever it is, where they drop the egg and the egg doesn't break except for the one. Well, you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking I, about. I spend Let's a lot of late nights. Wrestling. Well, I'm sorry. And, and right now, Andy Anderson, the worst for wear in the ring, as Flash Flanagan just wearing him down. Puts him into the ropes, back body drop, here's a reversal, sunset flip, one, two, ho! Oh. And Flanagan kicks out, look at that. And almost that near upset there, Michael, that you were talking about. Flash is focused, but perhaps it's a little bit more on Wolfie D than it is on this match at hand today on Music City Wrestling.
After this match, I'm going to attempt to get a word with Flash Flanagan, and I'll tell you, I'm not real thrilled about it because the man has been a little maniacal, if you will, since coming into MCW and since the start of Music City Wrestling. And right now, he is just taking, he is taking Andy Anderson to school in the school of hard knocks in the middle of the ring. Well, I don't envy you having to go up there and conduct that interview, Michael, because you've definitely been in the hot seat so far this week. And if you don't watch, I'm telling you what, by the end of the show, I might go in the closet back here and get, I don't know, like a weed whacker or something. Maybe the hedge clippers and give you a real haircut. Right now, Andy Anderson firing back after the ropes. There, he caught him across the chest and down he goes. We want to remind fans in Middle Tennessee that tonight, Music City Wrestling comes to Lebanon, Tennessee at the National Guard Army, scheduled to be there. Wolfie D, the center Foles, Billy Joe Travis, and many more tonight at the National Guard Army in Lebanon. And I'll tell you what, Wolfie D is scheduled to be there. Uh, I assume, you know, judging by what the guy's like, he's not too intelligent. He's going to try and make his way to Lebanon tonight. And Billy Joe Travis is going to be in the building, and there's no lo love lost between those two either, Michael. We'll try to get a uh, report on the condition of Wolfie D from back in the dressing room momentarily. In the meantime, Andy Anderson catches Flash Flanagan with a big back body drop and goes in to pick him up and slam him down. Look at this. Standing slam. Anderson quite strong, showing his propensity for putting a man up and slamming him down, going up top. He's going to take the air route. Flying press rolls up Flash Flanagan. Flash reverses it. One, two, three. He got the pin, but I believe his feet were on the rope. Well, Michael, get up there and conduct that interview, and we'll see what you can find out by the state of mind of Flash Flanagan. Before you get out of the way, Flanagan, i got to ask you what's going through your mind with this Wolfie D and bringing ladders into the ring. Ladders into the ring. Wolfie D brought that to the ring. I don't need no weapons. As you all saw, I'm still the greatest scientific wrestler of all time. I beat that punk in the ring one, two, three. But Wolfie D, if you want a ladder match with me, my friend, Thanksgiving night, well, I'll be more than willing and better than able to kick your butt one more time. You see, I don't scare you. Let me rephrase that again. I'm not scared of you. There's not one person in this building I'm afraid of. Doug Gilbert, he's come out and saved your butt one too many times. Why don't you come and do it on your own, Wolfie D? But you see, you can't do that. You want weapons and all that in the ring? Well, that's fine with me. You see, I can wrestle, I can fight, I can cheat just as good as anybody else can. But you know what the difference is between me and everybody else? Is I'm better than they are. Wolfie D, come Thanksgiving night, you're gonna find out why I say I'm the best, and we'll prove it. Flash Flanagan giving his comments here on Music City Wrestling. Let's take this break. We'll be back with more action after this.